Oh. Okay, let's go. Oh, that scared me. Hello, little babies. Come close to me so I can grab your face. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Okay. Meow. Okay. Okay. So, according to the book, we need witch flower, maple herb, squishy fur, fire to five, and stir the ladle right. Okay. And fire strength. One more. And the ladle direction to the right. Sunlight potion. All right. The sunlight potion is ready. Let's go to the tree right away. Ellie, the lunar oils is... Don't worry, I already have the ingredients. You already have them? First is the moonflower. Do you really want to go now? Did you do everything you want to do? Let's just go now. There's nothing more to do. Let's go. Great. They're stuck to the tree as expected. There's tons of shining butterflies. They're going to make them all go away now, right? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle a potion. Okay, here goes. Beautiful. Where are those butterflies going? Wouldn't they go back to where they came from? But the flower... Oh, over there, over there. It's so beautiful. It's really beautiful. Now we can just pick up the moonflower and make Lunar's oil. Rubrum, can you go to the prickly vines and wait for us there? We'll come as soon as the moon oil is ready. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting in front of the vines. Oh, I'm getting every bit. Let's go to the dispensary now. I should make Lunar's oil. Ellie, I hope you haven't forgotten. For Lunar's oil, you need the Phoenix Feather. There's no way we can find a Phoenix Feather around here. We have a Phoenix Feather right here. You told me about it earlier. What? Oh, Ellie, that's not a good idea. If we do that, we might not be able to get back on the train. You're not my back to Highland. A witch is always ready to help, starting with one who needs it the most. That again? You just like it to hear it better? Well, of course. You just don't like the witch's house in Hylian. That's true. Stop being childish, you're going to regret it later. No, Virgil. What I will regret is not doing this right now. I'm sure of it. We have to be smart about this. Ugh. Powder made from the burning phoenix feathers. It sparkles bright red due to the heated magic. Great. I have all the ingredients now. Ellie, you're worse than Aria sometimes. Oh, please. I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. That wasn't a compliment. Alright, now let's make Lunar's oil. Okay. So how do we do that? Okay. Moonflower and Extractor squeeze the juice and fe Phoenix Feather. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay, let me put some stuff away. Move you. Move you. Move you. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, it says... Moonflower, Phoenix Feather, Stage 1, Don't Stir. Okay. Moonflower... Phoenix Feather, then the Fire String at 1, no stirring, Yay! 
Yeah! The Lunar Soil is ready. Let's go get rid of the Prickly Vine now. I'm here. Now let's hurry up and get rid of the annoying vines. Um, huh? Did you happen to suffer somehow because of me? Don't worry about it. This was my choice. Uh, what I really wanted to do. And this is my choice. Thanks, Sally. That's no big deal. You can come to the witch's house anytime you want. Are you going to stay here? Yeah, I think I'll keep staying here as an apprentice. Really? Really? Really. Keep up the good work, Rufy. Okay, keep up the work too, Ellie. Hurry up and go home for now. Your grandma must be worried. I'll, I'll find you later. Okay, see you in a bit. Yeah. Quit acting like a saint. This place seems fun to you, that's all. Or I'll try not to say stuff that makes me sound like a bad guy, will you? It's a happy ending for all. If I have fun, then they're happy, isn't it? Will the teachers get angry? Like mother, like daughter. That's what they'll say. Well, that's great. I already told you it's not a compliment. Alright, let's head to the village now. I finally arrived at the village. Yeah, it's a village. What kind of village would it be? I hope a lot of fun things happen here. There would be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go! Ah, uh, it's quite a dull sight. Virgil, that was a village that you have to stay in for the three years. Do you feel like going back to Hylian again? What the heck happened here? What's this evil prickly vine? I'm so excited! I don't even know where to start, and something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see prickly vines growing only on only houses. No, that's not what I meant. It feels like I've been here for, for some reason. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch school, but I think. Something feels familiar. Let's find Rubrum first. Oh, Ellie! Thanks for helping me get home. That's nothing special. But it really looks like no one is in the village. Yeah, many of them left after the prickly vines have grown. Now we only have Uncle Ader Arden's and my house. I see. You must be bored. No, it's okay, because Grandpa and Uncle Arden are here. There are also lots of fun things in the forest. Oh, Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? Yeah, she's the village chief. She's the village chief? They say not in these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Okay, take care. You're adorable. Oh, she is adorable. Look at her. Welcome, witch. You've done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. No, I'm not the one who received help. You can speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from their age. Alright, I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Wisteria. I'm Anit, chief of this village. Even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. What happened in this village? What are all those prickly vines? Did you take a look around the village? Yeah, I saw the houses covered with prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago, those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroy the houses one by one. Why did the prickly vines start growing all of a sudden? Actually, there were already prickly vines growing in the village. The white prickly vine at the village entrance was the one originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started to grow for the first time three years ago. At first, they were saying things like God's punishment, monster, or witch's curse. Wipe off your drool, Ellie. It's a serious story. There were lots of rumors, but no one actually knew why. They started growing all of a sudden without any explanation. What happened to the villagers? Nobody was hurt. The prickly vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. Now only Arden and I are left to protect the village. Don't worry now, I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Thank you so much for saying that. But it's too late now. Hmm? All the houses have been ruined already and everyone left. It's not a village but two old people with a lot of regrets protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should also leave now. It's better to go to a place you were originally planning to go. But... I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village for as long as you want, but leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen. 
Hylian is boring as hell. Virgil. Bad word. Ellie. There are no more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Even the people who had left would want to come back. Even if the prickly vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back. But Ellie, people left and time has passed. I don't think those driven out by the prickly vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. No, they would definitely want to come back. It's a wonderful village you have been cultivating all your life, Anit. I can't let the village get taken away by these weird prickly vines. Yeah, you're right, but... Let's go to sleep for today and talk again tomorrow. I'm... You look tired too. Rurum looks like he needs to this rest as well. Okay. Don't scold Rurum too much. Yeah, okay. Get some rest. You too in neat. Sleep for now. Hmm. Is there no place for me to stay here? Closed. I guess it's a restaurant. This house looks fine. A restaurant in a village like this. Can you do business in a place like this? Absolutely not. What are you trying to do? Anit is right. It requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even if there are no houses. Yeah, but it's not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. How can you be so sure? This is your first time in this village. If you're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. Where did you hear it? You didn't even see a villager. That, I don't know. Maybe I heard it in a dream. That's absurd. No, it's absurd. No, it isn't. It's the village that Anita's lived for all, all of her life. Other people would also have loved the village as much as me. You know, you also just met Anit for the first time. I can tell, even if we met for the first time, that there was some kind of throbbing feeling. Who would fix the houses even if prickly vines are removed? There are two old people in this village. You're right, Virgil. Correct. You need a carpenter to fix the house. The first person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly, if possible. It would be also nice to have six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have you should have a deep dream in order to meet that kind of carpenter. Stop being sarcastic. It's a fixer upper. I see that uh that girl left. I do not remember her name. <laughs> Did you meet the flying carpenter? I don't know. It seems like I did have a dream, but I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something, since this is your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course not. So are you ready to start your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course. Do you know what to do? Let me ask Anit what Anit thinks first. Although she will naturally approve. I will start the moment she approves. <laughs> we'll check out the carpenter's house and try to get rid of the prickly vines. Remember that we don't have any phoenix feather left? It will work out somehow. Let's go to Anit first. Who the fuck are you? Hello, this is the witch's catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at best prices. This is Diane Greenwind, who brings happiness. Nice to meet you. Yeah, hello, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Yeah, nice to meet you, Ellie. She is cute. What must I help you with today, or... You're registering for the first time! Yeah, that's right. I must have been inconvenient for you not to be able to use the witch's catalog. Just a minute. Okay, thank you for waiting. So, I need to see the master witch before registering. Is she inside? The master witch? Yeah, I need the master witch's signature to register the witch's catalog. Oh, that's, um, I'm... Hey, Ellie. Huh? Fooling around while I'm out? You didn't forget to register with them. Uh, oh no, I don't forget. Of course not. Oh, I guess the master witch is at some place else now. Are you talking through the hat? Yes. Stay quiet, Ellie, you unfinished dumb hat of a little rascal. Why can't you even do one thing properly? 
if I told you to tell me when the witch's catalog employee comes. I'm so sorry, I was just about to tell you. Oh, sure. Then I guess Allie can just sign instead because the master witch is here. You'll also receive a gift if you join now. A gift? What is it? A witch's broom. It's really easy to use. A witch's broom? Finally! You can just sign here and here. Okay, just a minute. Yes, that's it. Then I'll explain how to use the witch's catalog. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Please explain. Every morning, a witch's catalog employee will come. In this case, it will be me. I'm planning to be here from 8 to 6 p.m. You can just purchase the items you need from me during the time. We do not accept gold coins and only accept luna coins. What is that thing called a luna coin? Luna coin is a currency used in witch society. It is called luna coin because it is made of an ore with the power of the moon. Don't you know already since you are also raised in witch society, Ellie? I think I learned it in school. It's just that I, I don't think I called money something else in my life. After all, only Luna Coins are used in the Witch Society. But how do I earn Luna Coins? I guess you don't have enough Luna Coins. What? But yeah. The Witch Administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such incident. Please let us know at any time since we purchase regardless of this type. You can sell potions to the merchants. Merchants carry different items and currencies. You can also sell using the shop keyword and dialogue. Alright, got it. And there's also the special potion delivery service. And every day of the week, we buy potions at a higher price. You can select one out of three of the list provider provided and deliver within two days. But since we're buying at a higher price, don't lose this nice opportunity. Merchants buy extra potions according to special rules on top of the usual potion sales. Deliver the requested potions to get more rewards. So, do you have any more questions? No, not anymore. Alright, then feel free to talk to me if you need anything. Um, yeah, go ahead. The gift. Right, I'll give it to you now. Wow, thank you. Finally, my own broom. Ride and get off. Ooh. Have a nice day. This has been Diane Greenwood of the Witch's Catalog. Do you think it went well? Yeah, it looks like your urgent fire is out. How's my acting skill? You? I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. It was all an act, being dumbfounded. This might become a problem later on. I told you, I'm good at acting. No, uh, not your poor acting skill, but the fact that the Master Witch is not here. The Master Witch must be at the Witch's house. We can't just have an Apprentice Witch. Can't you just keep acting? How long will it work? And there's still the other matter of the Witch who was originally here at this Witch's house. It would be nice if we know who that Witch is. The Witch who was originally here could also be someone with malice. Let's ask the villagers later on. Let's deliver potions with the broom for now. You need to go to a neat. Oh, you're right, but there's no need for urgency. The potion delivery request is apprenticeship that you choose to do as needed. If you opt to refuse such apprenticeships, you can use the keyword to do it later on. Okay. How do I use it? it says to use control. Whatever. Hello, you adorable old woman. Hello. Hello, Anit. Hello, Ellie. Did you sleep well? I thought about it yesterday, but I'm still not sure. The villagers, yeah, you mean they would want to come back, right? I don't know why you're more confident than me when I lived my whole life in this village. Even so, I decided to believe in that happy thought. Really? If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who is living in that house. But if that resident refuses, don't worry, because it won't happen. Ellie, you are so nice. Everything will be fine, don't worry. Yeah, I guess so. So who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by any chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter in order to fix the house. Of course. The house at the upper left side from the central fountain of the village belongs to Kyla, who is a carpenter. Then, it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kyla's house first. That would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact Kyla. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. Alright, let's get this started. Keep in mind that we don't have any information, nor do we have a phoenix. 
The first thing to do is collect information. Let's look around Kyla's house once and collect information. Let's look about the Phoenix later. Would that be okay? Um, I mean, she's got, like, the idea, I guess. This must be the house of a person named Kyla. It's in the same condition as the other houses. If you don't get rid of the prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding the house. Now that we know their locations, let's ask other villagers. Okay. We'll talk to you first. That morning wood feels good. Do you have anything to say? When it first appeared, I tried very hard to get rid of it. I tried an axe and also set it on fire, but it was useless. No matter how I made the scar, it healed quickly. That resembles the white prickly vine. Isn't that right? But the white prickly vine dis disappeared completely when there was a full moon. And these vines didn't disappear even when there was a full moon. It's as strong as the white prickly vine, but it doesn't disappear in moonlight. That's strange. We thought so too. I mean, it is the providence of nature. And so, if there are strong places, there are also weak places. This is all I know. I'm sorry I couldn't be much help. No, it's okay. It was helpful enough. Do you have something to say? Take care. Yeah, I got nothing for you, woman. You. Oh my god, he's a baby. TikTok time for TikTok with Grandpa. The prickly vine in the village is not good. It's not so good. It's bitter, spicy, and not tasty, and it also smells fishy. You ate it? Yeah, I drank it by drying it as tea. I dried and roasted by picking only thorns, and it was hard. I guess you drink everything as tea. There are so many delicious tea ingredients in that forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. Grandma says the bird flower tea smells good. I'll also make delicious tea for you, Ellie. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Oh, I remembered. It tasted similar to that thing. It also tasted similar to white prickly vine and the little honey pumpkin in the forest. I guess you also tried drinking all of them. White prickly vine has a good scent. Hmm. If it tastes similar, can you see it as a similar breed? Thanks anyway. It was helpful. Alright, come over for some tea next time. Any interesting stories? Goodbye. Yeah, okay. This is stairs. What is this? I probably can't go up there. Let me snoop around your house. I'm looking for the other dude that lives here. Where would he be? Temple of the Cat God. Based on the sign, there should have been a road. The sign is broken and the road is blocked. Maybe the god is angry. Okay. We just need to talk to one more person. Hey you. Puddler visit hours, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Welcome, long time no see. It hasn't been that long either. Is it so? Perhaps because it's been a while since I've been here. Did you remove them, the prickly vines? Yeah, it's nothing special. Is that so? You're humble. But you did really well. This village has been really gloomy for the past few years. I'm just getting started. That's a big start, because the hope that was gradually disappearing started to come to life. So never give up on this village. Okay, don't worry, I'll never give up, no matter what happens. You sound reliable. By the way, did you happen to bring the thing you promised last time? Of course. Are you talking about the yak and melon? No, you promised the rooster handle to use for the rooster. I'm kidding, of course I brought it. But since this guy broke his leg, I don't think I could bring proper products for a while. But really, I feel sorry for him. Thank you for your concern, but don't worry, it'll get better soon. The things on sale would be trivial things instead. I have a good offer for each other. Do you want to hear it? Sure, what is it? As you can see, since Wisteria is not an environment to bring good products, I'll make it better soon. Yeah, but I didn't mean it that way. However, there is a good witch here. I would use the witch to our advantage. Is there such a witch here? That's what I'm saying, I can't even see it from in here. I'm pretty confident with my eyes whether it might be a person or a thing. So Ellie, I want to leave work with you. I want to leave the work to you. What do you think? Naturally, you will also receive proper wages since the good things deserve good prices. For me? Really? For her? Yeah. I think it, I'll ask for a potion or animal and plan gathering here. How does that sound? Of course I like it. Naturally. I'll also look for the quality of products properly. That's because good things deserve good prices. Listen carefully, Ellie. It means a bad price for bad products. 
Just like the talking hat said, therefore, it's Virgil. The hat deserves a bad price. Keep up the good work, Ellie and Virgil. Okay, we'll work hard. Then, can I talk about work right away? Of course. Since I'm not a witch, I will only sell the candies that can be used by non-witches. Since I basically buy them all the time, come and buy them anytime. And you do need a lot of potions from time to time. Can you make 10 healing candy j in just one day? That's kind of hard, isn't it? I'll also have to talk to the person who buys it. If I need that many potions, I'll tell you one day in advance. In this case, I'll be able to buy it for a more expensive price than usual. That's nice. Instead, you must deliver after making a promise. That's because trust is important. If you think you can't because of other things, you can't say you can't. Okay, so, can I ask for one thing right, right now? Let's see. I need two healing candy by tomorrow. Alright, I'll also have it ready until tomorrow. Please note that the delivery is possible with until tomorrow. Because promises are important. Do you need anything? I don't have any information on that. Okay. Deliver two healing candy. Oh, the restaurant. Whoa. Can I talk to you? Hello? Oh. Eh, you're a witch. Yeah, Melly, an apprentice witch. Hello. I'm Arden, a dragon and a cook. Did you help Rubrum? You're pretty kind. Don't mention it. Are you gonna stay here? I think I'll end up doing so. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, I'm sorry. It's my first time seeing a dragon with my own two eyes. Normally, you wouldn't see one. Even Mom said she seldom met a dragon. That's why I wasn't sure, but you're a real dragon. I never thought I would meet a chef dragon in a place like this. Since dragons have no reason to mingle with humans, I think I was like that too. And I can't tell you the reason if you look at me with those eyes, because I don't remember now. It's kind of weird to call it a reward, but tell me if you're hungry. Although it's usually not for free. Okay, sure. This is for helping Rubrum. Take it since it's free. Nice. Thank you. I'll enjoy it. It's the last one remaining. Hey you, did you promise to get rid of these prickly vines? Yep, that's right. Yeah. But will you be able to do it? Of course, I'll bring the village back to its former appearance. That's some confidence. Okay, what's going on? The prickly vines of the village? Yeah, just in case you know something. Well, I don't know much about prickly vine. I just feel the malice filled in it. Malice? The prickly vines that only destroys houses? It's so unnatural. If it's not someone's malice, what would it be? Is there someone who would do such a terrible thing? I don't know. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know anything. How about searching through the witch's house at least? Okay, sure. Oh, and on the way to the witch's house, please do me a favor. What kind? I lost a bag containing an important ingredient. I think I lost it somewhere near the water. Please try to find it for me. I remember carrying it to the village. Yep. Okay, I'll try to find it. Yeah. Alright, I think I asked everyone. Try summarizing what you've heard. It needs said it has similar characteristics to the white prickly vine. Ruben said it tastes like little honey pumpkin, and it's probably similar to the little honey pumpkin. Arden didn't tell me anything in particular. He said it was someone's malice. Seeing a prickly vine that can only destroy and get rid of a house is enough to make you think so. It seems that Arden thinks it's the witch's work. Witch's curse. And what like today? That's an old-fashioned way of thinking. You wouldn't think so if you began, if you've been to Lucerne or two. But the witches of the old days are still alive. Eh, let's find the culprit later. Let's think about Kyla's house first for now. Let's also look through the witch's house like Arden said. I think it might have something related to the prickly vine in the witch bookshelf on the first floor. Oh, I didn't mean to touch that. Okay. So... Lost in the village. It said it's near the water, right? Is that it? This must be the bag that Arden was talking about. Let's take it. The main menu? It's the stew I'm boiling for more than a hundred years. What's going on? Give Arden the bag? Return it. Did you find the bag? Yep, there you go. Thanks, I needed that. What's in it? Curious, are you? It's my secret recipe. 
Whoa, really? What is it? Pepper. Pepper? Yeah. Black gold. The kind of spices. And I was looking forward to the secret recipe of yours, but I thought pepper is pretty cheap these days. Anyway, I don't really like pepper. It's cause you're white, Ellie. Here, have a taste. This is true cuisine. Ugh, the taste of pepper is overwhelming. Strange, people used to like it back in the old days. Just how long ago were the old days? Still, I can make beef bread again. Come find me if you get hungry. Yeah! I think I'd have to go back to my house to save, but... Yep. I'm gonna call it a day. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. <laughs>